Agents, I need to brief you on a very important mission. How to play Inside Job, a mostly cooperative trick-taking game by Tanner Simmons. You will have to assemble two to five of your closest comrades and set aside about 20 minutes. Players will take on the role of secret agents who must complete card-related missions to win the game. But watch out. One player is the insider who's trying to sabotage missions, collect intel, and win the game all for themselves. With extra levels of strategy like wagering intel, risky missions, and special agent roles, Inside Job keeps itself fresh every game and is great for players of all skill levels. Now that you've been briefed, let's see if you can find the insider. First, find the overview card that corresponds to the amount of players you have on your team. In a four player game, each player will be randomly dealt 12 of the playing cards. Leftovers are gonna go back in that box, you're not gonna need them. Each player will start with one intel token, shaped like a little briefcase. The mission cards will go at the top of the playing area and the intel tokens will go in a pile next to them. Next, deal one roll card to each player. For a standard game of four, there will be three agents and one insider. You can privately view your card, but do not share who you are with anybody else. The agents will work together to try to complete a certain number of missions depending on the amount of players. In a four player game, you're gonna need to complete seven. The insider is trying to sabotage those missions and collect intel tokens for themselves, which you get by winning tricks. For a four player game, they will need to collect five. Now, if at any time they get five intel tokens, they're gonna flip over their card, reveal themselves, and automatically win the game. Darn traitor. Now let's play. The player who is to the left of the dealer will start the game. They will pick two mission cards from the top of the deck, read them privately, and place one face up on the table for all to read. The other mission card is gonna go back in that box. You're not gonna use it. That player who picked the mission card will then place one of their playing cards face up on the table in whatever suit they want. Players then take turns playing one playing card each in that same suit that that first person played. If they do not have cards in that suit, they can play whatever suit they want, but cannot win the trick unless they play the trump color, which is gonna be indicated below on that mission card. We're gonna to get to more on that later. Now, the insider has different rules and can choose to play a card of any suit they want. But be careful, if you say you're out of yellow cards, but play one later, it's gonna look a little bit suspicious. Whoever plays the highest number card wins the trick and earns an intel token. However, mission cards also denote a trump suit for that round. The trump suit will automatically win a trick even if the other card played is higher. However, if two cards are both considered trump suits, the one with the higher value takes the trick. If the mission was completed, it goes to the successful mission area and moves the agents closer to the finish line. If the mission has failed, you've got to put it back in the box, face down. It does not count towards your total. The winner of the trick is going to win an intel token, whether or not the mission was successfully completed. The player who won the trick then is the next starting player, and the whole process is going to repeat again. If at any point one player collects the amount of intel tokens needed for the insider to win, they must flip their roll card. If they're anything other than the insider, the game continues. Now you know somebody's role. If they are the insider, the game automatically ends. If by the time you reach the certain number of cards designated on that overview card, for four players it's going to be two, if you've reached that number of cards in your hand and nobody has completed their objectives, you are going to enter the voting phase. In the voting phase, all players are going to point at the ceiling and then count down to one. On one, everyone is going to point to who they believe to be the insider. If the players vote correctly for the insider, the agents win. If anyone other than the insider gets the most votes, then the insider gets away scot-free and wins the game. Once you've got the base game down, you can choose to play with the intel token rules for an extra layer of strategy. If you choose to use the intel token rules, you can wager those intel tokens you earn to get a leg up on your opponents. So you can take any card you want, the leading suit or otherwise, and add one of your intel tokens to it to make it the same as that trump card for that round. For example, the trump card is green and Nadine leads with a pink nine. Will plays a green four and I play a pink six with an intel token on it. Because my card is now a trump card with a higher number value than Will's card, I win the trick. Ha! But if Tess plays a trump card after me, like a green seven, 
or she wagers an intel token on any color card that is higher than my six, she not only wins the trick and gets that intel token, she also gets her intel token back and also gets the intel token that I wagered. A big bummer for me, a lot of power for Tess. So, wagering an intel token can be very risky, but potentially very rewarding. If there's a tie, say I play that pink six with an intel token on it, and the player after me plays a green six or a blue six with an intel token on it, they win the trick. If the numbers are equal and both players' cards count as trumps, the player who played last is gonna win that trick. Some things to keep in mind now if they come up. You cannot discuss the cards in your hand, so pretty much you can't be like, hey, don't leave with blue. We need to complete the mission and I'm all out of blue cards and I won't be able to win this trick. You cannot let them know that. However, after that round is over, you can be like, hey, I'm not the insider. I only played yellow because I didn't have any blue. Stop looking at me like that. You may not refer to previously played mission cards for clues. All uncompleted mission cards go back in the box face down, no peeking. All playing cards that you've already used are also gonna go face down in the box. You cannot look at those playing cards anymore. They are dead. You can speculate, yell at, discuss, whatever you want to about who the insider is at any time. Now you can lead with the trump color. This can actually be a really good move if you have a high colored card of that designated trump color and you don't want anybody else to outbid you. Okay guys, agents cannot play off the lead suit at any time. That kind of ruins the game. If you have a color of that lead suit in your hand, you absolutely have to play it. No exceptions if you are on the agent team. This rule also applies to those trump cards. So if the lead color is let's say blue and the trump color is pink, an agent who has a blue five in their hand absolutely must play it, even if they also have a pink three in their hand. They always have to play the lead suit if they are able to. If an agent doesn't have that lead suit in their hand, they can play whatever they want to, trump card or otherwise. All cards played that are not the lead suit color or the trump suit color do not count for any points. All right, agents, your briefing is complete and you are ready to take on inside job. May the best spy end up on top.